Yo, what's going on, guys? Giant here doing some more Giants franchise, and we've been on a hot streak lately. Uh, we're six and eight right now. We believe we won the last two games and three out of uh, three out of our last four, so we're looking pretty good. Um, you know, we were looking like we we're gonna be terrible this year, but hey, we might be average. So hey, that's actually kind of better. Uh, we're gonna view the playoff picture here. I forgot who is in the 17. It's actually been a few days since I've last been doing this. Uh, last been recording. Uh, so Vikings. The Vikings are the 17. Let's see how many wins the Vikings have. Let's see the record and see how many fall, how many games were, fall, how many games were behind against them. I can't speak today, by the way. We're, they're in six and we're six and eight, so we're two games behind. Not looking likely, guys. It ain't looking likely. So I don't think we're gonna make the playoffs, but we should be close. No, maybe. Let's see here. Uh, we do some weekly strategy though, and we're gonna be preparing for the Eagles. One of our, one of the Giants' biggest rivals. Of course, we already beat the Eagles early in the season. Uh, just like real life, and choose defensive game plan. Uh, definitely running it. Um, outside one. Uh, I expect Jan Hurt to do a lot of running. Um, that's what he does in real life. And I mean, they, they should have done this more, I guess, in real life as well. But they didn't against us. That's what. That's kind of why we won a lot. Yeah, we will do a blitz counter here. I just want to stop Fletcher Cox from destroying destroying like the shit out of me. He's so good. Fletcher Cox is Fletcher Cox is a beast, man. He is a good football player. And I'm a Giants fan, so yeah, I've got, I got to give my Eagles, or not my Eagles, <laughs> I got to give the Eagles some credit here. I'm not an Eagles fan, fuck the Eagles, but they, they got a good defensive tackle in Fletcher Cox. All right, let's see here. Is anyone injured? Not that, not, not yet, not yet. Let's keep going. Looking pretty good so far. Good. No one's injured. Would you like to see? Uh, so it's been a few days since I've been playing bad. You know, I've had so many uh, busy days. Even today was kind of busy, but I kind of made the time to do this, so you're welcome. All right, let's see here. Who's going to be upgraded? We got the GOAT himself, Adore Jackson. You'd love to see it. Uh, upgrade him a little bit. Try to give him like a... He's pretty balanced already, so just, so just trying to get a little bit of everything, you know, moved up. As I did not mean to press that. Oh, God. Yeah, if I, we don't need to see Adore Jackson schools. Who gives a shit? This is what I mean. The GOAT, Will Hernandez. The best guard in the game. God, I can't wait till the Giants move on from him this offseason. Let's see. Upgrade Will Hernandez. Somehow he's a 74. I think like a 64 might be more accurate. Because 74, you would think he's not, you know, maybe like average. But no, he is not average. Like average is a huge overstatement. Uh, you're overrating Will Hernandez by calling him average. Like he stinks, okay? Aziz Ojoy on the, hand, on the, the other hand is actually pretty good. So, and he's only 72, so, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, Aziz is so much better at his job than Will Hernandez is. Yeah, Will Hernandez is a high overall. I don't know about that. I don't know why. We'll see, though. Yeah, we'll play. We'll play our game. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I am swamped. I've been swamped lately, so. I've, I've had some, like, an hour to record here, so that's kind of nice. So... I'm glad I was able to record another video for you guys, but I've been so busy these last couple of days, you know, watching football, I've just been doing some other shit, as Saquon almost has a thousand yards, Saquon has been doing amazing on the running game, by the way, I mean, you love to see it, you love to see it, I don't know how many yards he's averaging though, but I think he's averaging at least four, so, that ain't bad, like, four, I guess it's like the average, and, you know, three is not that good, Five is very good, so we want four or higher, I think. It's kind of what I'm looking for. I think we do have it, so that's good. And Donnie Holmes is going to return. How far does he get up to? 24. Okay. Okay. Like, that ain't bad, but that ain't great either, so. <laughs> They're kind of the in-between middle, but, hey, I'll take it. So the painting whether to keep him as a kick returner or move, uh, Okay, it's Tony back in there. Saquon rushes for three yards. Um, he is so close to a thousand yards. He might break a thousand yards this game, by the way. Depending on how well he does. Otherwise, he should break it next week. Uh, we'll see here. We're going to pass it, though. As neither offensive lineman decided to block. Oh, God. That was intentional grounding, wasn't it? I think that was intentional grounding. Yo, it would be nice if uh, at least one of our offensive tackles decided to block. Andrew Thomas, Matt Pitt, neither of them could block. And by that point, like, I, I was screwed. Like, I had two guys coming on me like that. 
the outside. I was screwed. There we go. Now they both decided to block. Okay. As a God is open, he almost got that first down. I don't, did he get it? Fuck it. I'm going for it. That was a great job by Kenny Gardner. A great throw by Daniel Jones. We, we have to go for it. Joe Trudd in this situation would never go for it. But I feel like in real life, if you're inches, always go for it. Not sure if like, there's some like gym circumstance, circumstances, but like for the most part, um, inches, go for it, for sure. Hmm. Uh, we do have back dive here on the football mode with Saquon. Hopefully, that works out well. Saquon. First down. Nine. Okay. That's still good. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. My God, I still need the cough there. Uh, that's kind of bad. So only 30 more rushing yards for Saquon until he gets a 1,000 mark. He gains a couple there. Okay. So under 30 more yards for Saquon. We're going to keep running for him, though. Wanting it with Saquon, though, he's been good, so might as well keep doing that. So says he has 970 yards, so I don't know how accurate that is, I guess. <laughs> Saquon keeps running. He gets a lot of yards. He should be very close now to 1,000 anyway. Let's see here. We're going to keep one on one with Saquon one more time here, regardless if it works out or not. Let's see. Yeah, Saquon just needs a first down. He's watched for 1,000 yards this season, so very good. In real life, Saquon's probably not even going to watch 1,000 yards like the whole year. I know, that was uh, Devontae Booker, so Saquon's still 10 yards shy. As I'm looking for pretty much anybody right here, honestly. I feel like anybody could be a good bit, but I see why open. Wasn't the best throw by Daniel Jones, kind of behind him and not far out in front. So that's a, it's up a third and six, and incomplete pass. Let's try to get, Sa let's try to get uh, Saquon right here, use his speed um, to get us the first down. Uh, good block by uh, 69, nice. Something uh, no, <laughs> they can't do in real life. Not offensive linemen can do that in real life. Um, but hey, we got the first down. And now Jones is having a pretty good day uh, throwing, by the way. Two completions, I think, for a lot of yards. Saquon's going to run it for a few. Five yards. He's only five yards shot away from uh, down yards this season. It's pretty cool. I will probably run it with him a little bit. But right now we're going to pass. Trying to find the open guy. Oh my god, he's open, but like, I think I saw him too late. But we got Kyle Rudolph for the first there. Like, Saquon was open in the end zone. I probably could, I feel like with a good quarterback, I could fit that in there. I was just afraid with Daniel Jones, like, like, there was like little margin for error. Like, a good pass obviously would have been a touchdown. But then, if it's a little inaccurate, especially with me on the run, I probably would have been an interception. So, just playing it safe. I believe, is that a thousand yards for Saquon? No, it's so sure damn close. Two yards, we're two yards shot. Will this be Saquon's a thousand yards? Nope. Uh now he said uh now he's like five yards shot. <laughs> oh my god. We're on some slants over here. Try to get like Engram or Rudolph probably. Maybe in Tony or Gowder too. Um Oh wise open. Good throw. Good throw by Jones. Kenny not Kenny Gowder. Kenny was Tony with the touch though. Something that I'm still waiting for this is for the Giants to do in their life. But uh, uh, freaking uh, Canaris Tony's been hurt for so long. Like, he's barely played this season. Uh, but a good kick. Good kick. Canaris Tony has 400 yards too. That's decent. Um, we're going to kick this back to defense. A good job by the offense. Took out the whole, whole first quarter, by the way, uh, with that drive. But, you know, you love to see it. Defense, though, getting the ball to start the second quarter. Um, let's see if we can stop him on defense. Uh, that would be great. If we get the ball back, winning seven, even seven to three, just let him kick field goals. I'll be fine with that. Just no touchdowns. You know, that's kind of where the point I'm at now. No touchdowns. Field goals are fine. No touchdowns. Javon McKinney, good tackle. That's what we like to see. Only five yards gained by Miles Sanders. And that's what we need to do, do more of. Tackle. If we can get those tackles, that'll be huge. As good tackle by Blake Martinez. They're so they're like short. I think that's a uh, third in inches. That is. I will want a blitz play because I believe they're gonna run it either with Jaden Hood, Savannah Sanders, 
or whatever running back they have. So we'll pull up a blitz. I highly doubt they pass it, but maybe they do. And they do. We'll probably let up a first down. They do pass it. Yep, we let up a first down. Zach Ertz on the Eagles. <laughs> No, 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 that was God. I, I swear, I swear the announcer said Hurts, but I guess, I guess he didn't say. Oh, he probably said Hurts, not Hurts. That's probably what I got mixed up on. Anyway, kind of sounds similar, I guess. Billy Jackson on the slant can't uh, cover. That's the first down. I, I get those, those are all hard to cover, so I'm not gonna play my doy on that. It's still frustrating though. Let up a first down, like that back-to-back -back first downs. Good tackle by Xavier, McKin by Xavier McKinney. He's having to have, he's actually having a good game. Why can't I speak today? I can't speak. <laughs> it's crazy. A few episodes ago, I guess I literally couldn't speak because I had my, uh, I had no fucking voice. Now, like, I have a voice, but I, I keep uh, stuttering. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, Eagles get another first down. Not what we're looking for. We're going to drop Aziz back in the coverage. We need more guys covering. And that doesn't even help. He's wide open. Devonta Smith. Devonta Smith's good. <laughs> Maybe we'll put some pressure. I don't even think we should. I don't even know what to do right now. Hey, that was a good tackle by Nazis. But thanks for Lawrence. Thanks for Lawrence. He's probably one of the few players who I've actually thought had a good game against the Chargers in real life. Uh, not in this series, but in real life. You know, the Giants got blown out by the Chargers. Um, that, that was, <laughs> that was, it's been, it's like the day after. So Monday Night Football is happening now, the Cardinals and Rams. Um, but uh, the Giants and Chargers were playing yesterday. The Giants were god awful. But I, I think Dexter Lawrence did a good job. He's like the one player I actually, oh, like I was actually satisfied with his performance. And he made a big play here. God, now it's first and goal. What are we gonna do? <coughs> what are we gonna do? I have that cough. Fuck. Tackle the guy. Tack. Oh. Did he get in? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. I am shy. I thought he was gonna get in. As okay, they gotta. I feel like they're gonna. They all gonna. Run. <laughs> I like a feeling that we're gonna win it. But. I don't know. I didn't want to commit to the run because then he probably would have just passed for a guy wide open. You know, that's exactly what I didn't want on defense. But hey, we're tied. I'm getting the ball back now. So let's try to score before halftime because the Eagles do get the ball to start off. The Eagles get the ball to start off the, the second half. So if we can score, make it 10 7, 14 7, going to half, that would be huge. Of course, in our favor. <laughs> we don't want the Eagles going again this half and then getting the ball a slot. That'd be bad. But hey, 26 yards, not bad. By Donnie Holmes. Okay, we do slot drive. There we go, good job. Alright, we're gonna we have to do some more hurry up by here though. Wide open. Daniel Jones overthrows him. Oh, come, come on. Come on. He's wide open. Everything comes wide open. You miss him. Kenny Gardner. I'm looking for Kenny Gardner right here. If he's open, pass it to him. Not open. I'm still passing to him. I am lucky that's an interception. Ugh. Fucking incomplete pass. Not an interception. As we got the GOAT punter, Riley Dixon. He's, this guy stinks. This guy sucks. He's a terrible punter. Like that was a good tackle though by Donnie Holmes. But he's such a bad punter. Like literally in the game against the Chargers, he had a punt for 18 yards. 18, <laughs> 18 yards. I could put more than 18 yards. I don't. I have a cough. Oh my god. He's wide open. He's gonna score. It's gonna be a touchdown unless if Xavier McKinney can stop him. Nope. Joey Jackson trips. Yep. We're losing. 14 to 7. 
Probably it's gonna be the score going in the second half. The Eagles start out with the ball, and it's not looking good, guys. It ain't looking good. Uh, we this has. Uh, well, I want to say this has to be a score for us, but like 26 seconds left. Can you uh, expect us to score? Like I don't know. I'm still mad at Daniel Jones for missing Evan and Gamad open. Like, come on. I, like these are throws that he would definitely hits in real life too. So that's kind of frustrating that the game doesn't register that. But like, that would have been the first down. Probably could have scored on that drive. Up in such a huge game, the Eagles wouldn't have scored. It does suck. Did Evan Ingram just miss that? I swear to God. I swear to God here. Yeah. We're not scoring on this drive. God, Evan Ingram's wide open. Uh, one time Daniel Jones can't get the ball to him. The other time uh, Daniel, uh, Evan Ingram just misses the wide open pass. Can't even. Uh, they never call unnecessary leftists either. That's uh, definitely unnecessary leftists. They'll be caught every single time in your life. Just not caught here. Not sure why. I'm not sure why, but anyway, looking for Shepard or Gaudi right here. Probably not Tony. Maybe, though, know, if he's wide open, we could. I usually look to the right. Usually one of those guys are more open. No one's really open. Gotta force that in there. Just gotta force that. 73-yard field goal. Fuck it. I'm trying. I'm trying a 73-yard field goal. Will I be able to make it? Right, there's no way I fucking make it. No way. What? I made a 73 out field goal? What? 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 That's, that's the record. <laughs> Graham Gano just casually breaks the record for the longest field goal ever. I think Justin Tucker did it this year with like 66. So by a decent amount of yards too, right? Six yards? Or seven yards? Maybe it was 67 yards, I forget. And he probably could have got it like, a, he probably could kick 80 yard field goals. The, the announcers didn't even notice. They're like, oh, whatever. Could uh, Grim no casually makes a field goal? I am shocked. He made a 73 yard field goal. That's the record. Oh my god. I don't know. We have the greatest kicker of all time. Maybe I turned up kick power a little too high. <laughs> I'm maybe making 73rd field goals. I mean, probably shouldn't happen. Let's we'll see. That is crazy. Great tackle by Blake Martinez. That those are tackles you love to see uh, linebackers make. And, you know, anybody on defense, really. So, definitely good. Uh, that sets up, let's see, a second and nine. So, good spot to be in. Let's see. The passing it. Oh god. Logan Ryan, good tackle. I'm not changed to sliders and for some reason our defense. Very good tackle today. Is making like pretty much all every single tackle. You'd love to see it. Um let's see here if we can get the stop, get the ball back, only losing by four. Jane Hurts casually just runs backwards, chucks a pass, dead accurate to Dallas Gotten. Like very accurate pass. I don't know. I don't know. Crazy. Um, anyway, here they got a first down. We make the tackle very good. Uh, who was that? Odoi Jackson, huge tackle there. You love to see it. Miles Sanders, five rushes for 12 yards. Five rushes, 12 yards. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, here, Blake Martinez, user ring. They're running it again. Can we stop him? There we go. Good job, good job. So they are at third down right now. I'm fairly confident they're going to pass it too. Um, so we're going to take. I want to try to lose as many guys back as possible, kind of. They're literally going to bring Leonard Williams back. No way. They want it. I'm shocked. But Danny Shelton. Danny Shelton makes the first down saving tackle. It is fourth and one. Now, will they go with they don't? Um, this is a decision that like I definitely disagree with. I would go for this. I would definitely go for this in real life um, in the game. <laughs> That's a good part. 14-yard line. But hey, I would have gone for that. One yard, and you're like the 50 yard line, you know, halfway, like, like midfield. Go for it. What do you have to lose? Come on. But anyway, Evan Gumbot open. 
I think this is Evan Ingram's like first pass. First catch in a while too. He's been getting a lot of passes lately, like in the first few games, but then as of recently, not so much. We'd love to see Evan Ingram make a good catch right there. Let's see Saquon Barkley. I don't think he's running. Uh, Evan Ingram has almost a thousand yards too. I don't think Saquon has rushed for though a thousand yards yet. Now he has though. Now for sure he has. That's a first down. This in ten. I'm pretty sure he's uh, rushed for. Uh, yeah, there we go. A thousand rushing yards for my boy Saquon Barkley. You love to see it. Let's see if we get close to like 1,500. That'd be insane. Uh, there's how many games left in the season? Three. So I think probably not 1,500. Probably maybe something like 1,200. Uh, it's first injury of the game. Fletcher Cox goes down. Oof. That is not something we like to see here. Very good player, but hey, helps us out, right? So let's see here. Saquon Barkley running it again. For a few yards. 10 rushes for 55 yards. An amazing ground game for Saquon Barkley. Amazing game. I wish Saquon could do something like this in real life, although he did actually perform better against the Chargers. The Chargers have like the worst run defense in the league, so that's like a you like uh, you better do well against the Chargers. As Evan Ingram wide open, he makes the catch. Good throw by Daniel Jones. He is down at the four yard line. Well, I, I first I thought it was gonna be a bad throw. I didn't know if Evan Ingram was gonna catch that. It worked out just as I wanted to. Wow. That was a great play by Daniel Jones. Good throw on the run. That was a good play by Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram's only 13 yards shy now of getting 1,000 yards. Something he could very well do. Saquon keeps running it. I think he gained a couple, but not much. He gained one yard. So we do have the ability to take the lead right here, though. Uh, three yards for the touchdown. That would be huge. Let's see if we can. Uh, we might try to. Now we'll run it. We're going to run it. Let's see here. Saquon. Touchdown. Washington well, touchdown for Saquon Barkley. Is that like 10? Around this year, so Saquon's been having such a good game. Oh, such a good year. Yeah, that, 10 touchdowns. So Saquon officially has over a thousand yard rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. Those are stats you love to see from our boy Saquon Barkley. Third quarter is wrapping up, though. We are winning 17 to 14. This is huge. If we keep winning some more games, I may even need to adjust the sliders, which you love to see. Uh, me playing so well that, that adjusting the sliders is what I need to do. Um, maybe I'll do that for like next uh, season, potentially. Um, I've just been clicking recently. I've just been clicking. Uh, they could run it. I don't know if they're going to run it, honestly, because they're losing now. And, like, six minutes left in the game. Like, they could just uh, decide to keep passing it as Dallas Goddard. Come on, defense. What are you doing? Dallas Goddard first down. Jalen Hurts, nine for nine. We're making Jalen Hurts look like a good quarterback. He has no incomplete passes. Of course, in real life, the Giants made Jalen Hurts look abysmal. And it was crazy. Literally, uh, there were reports coming out saying that the Eagles thought that Jalen Hurts would be their franchise quarterback. And the Giants were like, nope. As Logan Ryan can't intercept that. That's crazy. Um, and then <laughs> Jalen Hurts, uh, later that day, those casually just throws three interceptions against the Giants. And yeah, that turned out great. Um, anyway, here, Jalen Hurts probably going to snap the football. They're going to keep passing it. Well, he's wide open. <laughs> Our defense really going to fuck up for, for us today. Not one incomplete pass. 11 for 11, 203 yards, and a touchdown. Jared Hurts is balling today. It's crazy. This is kind of like a low-scoring game, too. Um, you try to score, like, in the 20s. But anyway, we need we need to force some incomplete passes. We need to stop the Eagles, okay? The Eagles are driving now, right now. Like, we know home number a field goal. We can't keep letting them score touchdowns. But we already let them score two touchdowns. Sacked him. Okay, incomplete pass. I don't know how he got that off. That should be an incomplete pass. What 30 second to take is. Yeah, I can believe that. We don't take the ball very much. But hey, that's just the Jalen Hurts' first incomplete pass. Okay. So we can't get a takeaway, but hey, incomplete pass. Take it. Then <laughs> five guys. Let's get a stop. They're going to run it. Hey, hey, good job. Good defense. Seven rushes for 20 yards. Not even averaging three yards per carry. Yeah, they're probably going to kick it. Yeah, let them kick it. Kick the field goal, and we're gonna take the last drive of the game. This is hopefully gonna be the last drive of the game. That's my goal. My goal is for the last drive of the game, um, to obviously score and win. I don't know why it took me so long to think about that. I'm, I'm crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I know why. Anyway, here though, 3:49 left. Obviously gonna be running the football a lot, you know, to use up all the clock. I feel like I've been doing that a lot though recently, like get, trying to get the last drive of the game. But hey, it's a smart decision, right? Good return, though, by Donnie Holmes. Out past the 30 to the 31 yard line. That's what you like to see here? That's what you like to see? I wouldn't want to take on Barkley here. 
do some halfback inside zone. Get Saquon some more yards. Just keep using the clock, running the clock. Keep getting uh, first downs. That's not what we wanted, though. That's not what we wanted. Oof. That is not what we wanted. Okay. Okay. I was hoping for, like, even not even a first down, but, like, five yards maybe could have been nice, but not good. Oh, well, we're just going to run with Daniel Jones right here. We have the room, and we're going to slide here for the first down. I believe that's a first down. Third and one. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? Third and one. You got to be joking. Anyway, though, we're going to we're gonna hat back, to, hat back, run it with uh, Elijah Penny. Um, this guy, so we got it. But uh, this guy scored a touchdown, like the one touchdown. Or, no, the first touchdown against the Chargers. Uh, non garbage time touchdowns. So pretty much the only touchdown, not gonna lie. But he scored the first touchdown against the Chargers. It's crazy. But hey, we're gonna, we're gonna keep running it right now. Uh, we'll run it, and then we'll leave it for the two minute warning. I think we're managing the clock quite nicely, though. Saquon for a few yards. You love to see it. Saquon is, uh, we're getting the close to 100 yards rushing for the day. But you love to see it. So that's two minutes. We pretty much, we're in field goal range with our kicker, I guess. I'm definitely turning out field goal. Uh, I'm definitely going to turn out field goal uh, power for the next episode. The other settings I might, uh, gameplay status, I might wait to change for a little bit. Uh, but I, I can't, I, I mean, I love kicking 73 yard field goals, but if I have a kicker, I could just keep casually making 73 yard field goals, you know. That's a little bit too unrealistic, but hey, one field goal range. We are well, well beyond field goal range right now. We're going to run it with Booker. The first down. Now we're definitely field goal range for any kicker. Not just uh, the GOAT Graham Gano with the 100 kick down. <laughs> anyway, though, we're going to keep running it here. Try to, use the, try to get the Eagles to use all the timeouts. Ultimately, try to get like a game winning field goal. Would be nice. Yes. All right, there we go. Right in the middle. Got that right in the middle. I think Booker has quite a few yards as well, so that's what you like to see. Yeah, we're literally right in the middle, exactly where we want to be. If we get the first down, that'd be nice. But even if we have the third down, the Eagles will still use up a lot of their time. There we go. Now we need the first down. If you can get the first down here, then Eagles won't even get the ball back. But we need it like an inside. We're just going to do fullback, honestly. Make it up right in the middle. But if the Eagles do stop us here. Then they do have like a good like 40 seconds maybe to, to score a tying field goal or a winning touchdown. But they don't stop us. That is huge. So there we go. So I'll probably just quarterback kneel it. We've been in no hurry to run a play. So let's try to... Whoops. Where is... Can be near. Here we go. Way to do it. And then, of course, yeah, try to get the game-winning field goal. I'm feeling pretty good about this, guys. I'm feeling pretty good for a game-winning field goal. Obviously, we've lost but for a few game-winning field goals in the past. Um, but we've also, I think, won on a game-winning field goal as well. So, there we go. So, there we go. That is um, let's see, field goal, 34 yards. So we just need this to go in, we win. Okay, that is what we need. Patriots and Bu Buffalo Bills. Oh, this is gonna be such a good game. They're tied. Also, if this happens in real life, it'd be crazy. Maybe Mac Jones would throw more than three times. Also, <laughs> as you know, we're probably just gonna call a timeout with like three seconds left just to be safe. Or call a timeout. And we'll try to get the game-winning field goal here. That'd be nice. Comes down He's made from 73. Can you make from 33? He does. 20 to 17. We win. Okay, that's game. Game is over. Zero seconds for main on the clock. That's what you like to see. We are able to sweep the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow. And I don't remember the last time that's happened. Of course, hopefully this year. That'd be kind of nice in real life. Um, last year, obviously, we have to go... Uh, dropped the wide open pass, and that was pretty much the reason why we didn't <laughs> last year. 
kind of frustrating. Anyway, though, we're going to look at some stats here. They, they average more yards per play, but other than that, we led in, like, every other category. I'll uh, take a look, yo, <coughs> though, for the Giants here. Let's see here, Giants. Jones has a touchdown. No I haven't thrown an interception with Jones in a while, either, so that's nice. High quarterback rating, 8, eight for 13 uh, for 124 rushing. Saquon, good game. Uh, Booker, I think, did all right as well. Yeah, Booker did it just fine. Evan Ingram had only two receptions, but 64 yards. Wow. Uh, Saquon had a couple receptions. Kenny got had that, like, that one in the beginning, and that was it. <laughs> and then Kenny Sony had that one touchdown, and that was it. Um, but we've been spreading out receivers around a lot. We just haven't been having that many pass attempts. Not that much on defense either. Not that much on defense. So most of uh, most of our offensive plays, though, are, on, are like running the football. That's why like Saquon has all these good stats, and no one else on our team does. Um, but hey, uh, what works with what works works, and we're winning, so it's working. Um, yeah, so we'll be seven and eight this season. Uh, definitely uh, something amazing, you know, something that I want so badly for the Giants. Be seven and eight. That's kind of sad, right? To be like seven and eight, such a good record. But hey, for the Giants, it is. And it's the second week in a row we've won 20 to 17. That's crazy. Obviously, the Cowboys game was like a blowout, but they came back in garbage time, kind of similar how the Giants came back against the Chargers. But in, in this game against the Eagles, was you know, neck and neck the whole way through. Um, anyway, guys, let's skip to next week. We're going to be facing the Chicago Bears. We have the Chicago Bears first round pick. So hopefully they suck. No, the 7 and 8. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, we'll try to, you know, win against them. So they move down to get a better first round pick. Anyway, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment. Yeah, comment. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Just comment uh, anything you below. I appreciate all the comments I've been getting. I'm sure there's a couple of your friends. Uh, they'll love to see it, I promise. Anyway, guys, though, I'm going to be heading out. Goodbye.